Hey everyone, um, we're here out at Baldridge Angus out in Nebraska with Joe and um, as you can see here we've got uh, a pretty famous cow that I'm sure any Angus breed around the world knows, uh, the Baldridge Isabel Y69 um, and um, sort of want to bring her to you, she's by far one of the best Angus cows I've ever laid my eyes on and um, I think she's pretty special and she's probably had a huge impact on this Baldridge program. Uh, you know, there's roughly 20 daughters into their production. Most of them are out here behind us now in the uh, in the donor pen. Um, and then there's, you know, 30 odd to come. They've sold roughly 30 bulls, you know, and full flushes of this cow have averaged over 50,000, and then that's in US dollars. You know, and then out behind us here, we've got uh, Baldridge Bronc, uh, Beast Modes, uh, lots of flush sisters to obviously some pretty high use Baldridge bulls. We've all had a look at them today. We've gone through their whole herd and I think it's one of the better, certainly the best Angus herd I've seen in America so far. I think it's a pretty cool herd and certainly recommend anyone getting out here. And as you can see, she certainly likes her treats. Um, if you know any information about any of the Baldridge cattle, um, get in contact with myself and, you know, sure, if you want to judge, if you want to know anything, I don't. You know, they sell in excess of 300 bulls a year. And this is certainly a program that's going to go places and certainly this cow has really put them on the map and what a magnificent cow she is and um, hopefully soon we might be trying to bring you some sons and daughters of this cow um, we've seen some really really impressive daughters and sons by her here today um, so certainly a cow a cow that's going to put you on the map and yeah we're pretty excited about what what Baldur is going to be able to do so thanks guys and um, yeah tomorrow we'll um, be heading up to Billings to go to Gen X Origin um, World West and then we'll head back down towards Colorado and then we'll head down to New Mexico uh, to a sale there where Baldridge has a lot of influence on their genetics and they're in a really uh, arid uh, low rainfall environment so it's certainly going to be interesting to see how those genetics perform um, so yeah thanks for watching guys and uh, yeah we'll check in soon and remember we are supporting Movember for all uh, men's health so we'll drop a, drop a link in the comment below if you want to get in or goes to a good cause and um, yeah we'll certainly put some links into Judd's uh, catalogs over the years and his website if you want to check that all out so thanks for watching guys